anything you do, people are going to give you crap for if you do it or if you don't do it. You are danged if you do, danged if you don't. Good morning, internet friends, or rather, good evening, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we sassy? Are you doing good? Are you, does my face smell good? I put lotion on it, and I also showered. So I'm clean! Yay! Um, so, what has today been? I've interned, that's fun. Got home, watched some YouTube. Um, ate dinner, showed my dad. MRL doing his get it bring it with a paper towel tube. I don't think my dad really cared But I mean it was kind of cool to watch And then I got a shower And now I'm working on stuff for my statistics class. I Have a lot of questions about my project and the project group kind of Want me to ask the professor because they're like we've been to his office a million times so I hated having to email him though because I feel like the questions I've asked have been answered in class about a billion freaking times and I'm just dumb and do not remember. Of course, if I hear something, I can't remember it as well as I see it. So I'm just like, he thinks I'm an idiot. I'm pretty sure the professor thinks I'm an idiot anyway. <laughs> um, and now I'm working on the take home test. Part of it is we have to create a flow chart for the tests that we do. So I am breaking up each test into what each one needs. And from there, I'm going to be figuring out a flow chart. So overthinking the tests, but it usually goes well. But Sassy and I, well, whether you want to or not, Sassy, I'm sorry. <laughs> that side glance, though. We have a little public service announcement again. Um, I've thought a lot about what to say in this, and I think I finally got it figured out. So... I'm going to scooch this a little bit. Sassy. Sassy doesn't want to be part of it anymore. No? <laughs> so, once upon a time today, I got a series of negative comments from the same person. Which, of course, negative comments don't affect me. Um, because they're usually out of ignorance or just not knowing. Those are the same words, aren't they? Uh, whatever. Um, but one of these comments stood out to me, and it said, you shouldn't train dogs. So, on my way home from work, I do a lot of thinking in that drive home, because it's a 30 to 45 minute drive, so that's the second best place for me to do thinking, would number one be the shower. Um, I was thinking about... Because these comments were found on my video called Fake Service Dog Team. Which I get a lot of negative comments on that video. Because of the clip of me training MRL in Lowe's. So I was going to make an explanation of what happened that day. Why it wasn't a great training clip. And then, in the shower, I decided it's nobody's freaking business. I don't know anybody an explanation as to what happened. I know what went wrong and I know how to fix it. I am much more capable than some people think I am. Because if I wasn't a good dog trainer my dog wouldn't know what he does. She wouldn't know what she does because I've trained her. And Riddler wouldn't know what he knows because I've trained him too. And I guess in a nutshell, I wanted to say this to two groups of people. Those who give rude comments and those who receive these rude comments. To those who give the rude comments, I will give you a quote from Bambi. This was said by the character Thumper, who is one of my favorite characters. If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. I mean, seriously. Is it really hard to say something nice? And then to those who receive the hateful comments, 
And this doesn't have to pertain to service dog training. This could pertain to anybody. Like any YouTuber, anyone on social media, any just person, period. Anything you do, people are going to give you crap for if you do it or if you don't do it. You are danged if you do, danged if you don't. And that's just how life goes. So, you know you better than anybody else. In terms of animal training, you know the animal more than anyone else. Like, I know MRL more than anybody else. So, you know what you do. You know what you do wrong. You know how to fix it. And, you know, if anybody tells you that you suck at it, you know, they're not you. You are your awesome self. You know what you're capable of. And you're probably capable of much more than you even think you are. But just know that there are always going to be ups and downs. Just know that just stay your awesome self is all you really need to know. So that was my PSA for the night. Did, did you like the PSA, Sassy? Was that important to know? Says being nice to people is very nice. It's very helpful. Yeah. So now I am going to continue to work on my take home test and I will check back in with you guys later. Hey guys, back on the floor with Sassy Girl. But I also have little Mr. Emrel. Hello, Fluff Butt. Which look, he's got floofers between his toes. They're so cute. But you need to get clean. You were in the creek again today. What are you eating? Did you just eat a bug? Probably. And there's Riddler stealing my bed. Like a meanie. Riddler. You just don't. Nope. He's just like, nope, not me. That's a lie. So, I finally got all my information that I need to make my flow chart. And, and kind of have like an idea of how to make the flow chart. I just need to actually make it. So, fun stuff. And since I want to like, well, we can work on the test some tomorrow too. And since I want to type it out, I think I'm what I'm going to do is do Excel tables, and then print the, and then like copy them onto a Word document, and save it to my flash drive. That's a good idea. Not that you guys would care about what I do with Excel tables, but yeah. So look at the popper playing with the toy. He and I were working a little bit more on focus today. And leave it. Eh, leave it. Yes, good boy! Okay, get it. You can get it now. Look. Sometimes after I tell him leave it and say he can get it, he's like, what? Emerald, can you focus? Nope. Focus. <gasps> can you focus? He's like, no. There you go, good boy! And now I proceed to chew on my own leg. We got that tomorrow, boy. Yeah. I may want to try to see if I can take him to tractor supply during the off hours for a little bit of public training, work on his heel. Because we haven't been in a while. And I think he needs to go, don't you, bud? What? Are you trying to get my foot? Ooh. Hey, baby. My foot is about as long as your head. And look at you, you a little lump. But he's a cute little lump. Yeah. Are you cute? Are you trying to take my hand? Whoa, 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 whoa. And now that you don't have your needle baby teeth, it doesn't hurt as much if you try to bite down on my hand. MRL, do you want this? Get it! You can get it! Yes, good boy! Such a good pupper. Slowly but surely, his impulse control is being worked on. Let me see if I can make him leave it. Leave it? Drop it. Yes. Leave it. Yes. Focus. 
Focus. Yes. Okay, get it. Get your toy. Yes, good boy. Well, no, he didn't want to get it, but he'll snuggle with it. Hold on. I was trying. Look, you and Mr. Lettuce. How cute. So now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Um, let's see. Question of the day is... If you have a service dog, what task or command or whatever are you currently working on the most? Of course, for me and MRL, it is leave it and focus and heal. Just put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, sassers. Good night, Amarelle. Good night, Riddler the Bad Stealer.